as we Chris, the last book we did, read and sold, we sold quite a few of them now, Miffy as the flu. But I'm doing it in two different books this time. One book, which wasn't so bad about Miffy being ill, but she gets even more ill in a second book. So in some storybooks, you have one book about one thing, and then you have the next storybook about you think what happens next. So the second book about Miffy as the flu, I've written two books about it. This was the second book. But we will write Miffy being ill again one day for another new for another book. But this next time Miffy will be something else wrong with her. But if you want the book we're writing now, Miffy has the flu, in about two or three years, we'll still be writing them and selling them. But even more special, today is a very special day. What's Try and guess what today is. No, it's not my birthday. No, it's not Christmas. No, it's not Easter. It's not Easter. It's not Christmas. It's not my birthday. Today is 13 years since I started with Miffy. But before starting with Miffy, I used to just uh, tell kids, kids stories at libraries, show about what I've written at all. But now I write storybooks and sell them. But I started at this date. Two, four. Um. Miffy. So, over it because of the pens being put away. And that a very special date. So it's a bit long, it's here slowly. That's Miffy. So the first story is Miffy's got the flu, but right, we'll start the story now. Miffy's had a tea. But she was still quite sick. She had a tea. She had pizza and chips with tea. And then Miffy burped and she said to mother, Sorry for being so rude, it wasn't me, it was my food. And then everybody said, We, we don't say that, Miffy. And then uh, Miffy went to bed. Because she was so ill still, she was ill when she got up in the morning. And then she phoned Aggie. And then she said to Aggie, Aggie, do you know what the phone number is for the ambulance? And Aggie said, I don't know, but I'll tell my mother and ask her. And then she got the number. And then Miffy called the ambulance because she was feeling a bit sick. And then the ambulance paramedic came and had a look at Miffy. And Miffy's mother was shot. Miffy called the ambulance. But Miffy went to hospital anyway because she needed to. And then the nurse said, I'll be with you in five minutes, Miffy, to get you to help you unchange. And then get you ready for bed. Because you need to have some medicine and everything for tomorrow. But Miffy had a little accident. She had an accident. Um, she said to Mother, Mother, I'm scared what this is going to do to me. I know you won't do anything to me. She, she said, I know you won't do anything to me, Mother, but the nurse might tell me off for that. I never tell you off, Miffy. No, she said, no, the nurse, the nurse won't tell you off, Miffy. Then the nurse came and she said, Miffy said, I've done an accident. 
then I said, that's quite okay, Miffy. And then Miffy changed the pant, changed the dress, when we had pyjama dress, but she had to have a bath first to clean all the nasty stuff off, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? And then Miffy had to have an injection, and Miffy said, I really don't want an injection. The needles really hurt. Don't worry, Miffy. I would squeeze your teddy bear and count to ten. And then that would work. But Miffy had to have a cannula. Miffy said, what's a cannula? Well, I'll explain to you, Miffy. A cannula is a straw that goes through your arm to the veins. Pretend the pencil is a cannula holder. Well, not a cannula holder, a cannula tube. It goes through your arm into your vein, and then the vein it, it has a bag at the top, and then the liquid comes down and goes through your body to make you better because you can't have that many through your mouth. It's a blue thing on top of your arm, but they put a bandage around it. It's something what they just plug in. And then Miffy had to have that for five all days, but Miffy was bored in hospital. But then Miffy had the TV in hospital. But in hospitals around Great Britain, you might have seen me and Lee Dirt telling kids stories from Great. Because we've took over for Dick Bruner, we do all what he did. But he never went to hospitals and told kids stories. But we do. And uh, yeah, so Miffy watched the TV there and she played guessing games with Mother Bunny. I'll play a little guessing game now. Something in the hospital room, beginning with a K. And Miffy said cannula. Well done, Miffy. And then she said again, something in the hospital room, beginning with a S. And then Mother Buddy said smoke detector. Well, well done, well done. And then Miffy said something in the hospital room, given with Beginning with W. Window. Well done, well done. One more. They did it around the hospital this time, because Miffy went to get a drink. Something around the hospital, beginning with a W. And then everybody said wheelchair. Well done, well done. But Miffy was in a wheelchair, he wheeled around the hospital, uh, so she doesn't fall or anything. And nurse herself. Yeah. But Miffy was in the hospital for five more days to get better. And she said to the nurse when she came in, Can I go and play outside? Well, go walk. And she said, Sorry, Miffy. I'm afraid you're going to stay in. But you can go around the hospital. But Miffy was feeling a bit more sick. Then she threw up. And, um, she was scared again. The nurse would tell her off. Miffy, the nurse won't tell you off. The nurse isn't allowed to tell you off because the nurse will look after you to make you better. And then Mother Bully said, That's okay, Miffy, be throwing up because you are sick. And then the nurse just changed the bedding. And and put some uh, cleaning stuff on, and then it's all better. And then Miffy started to get better and better. And then she had a cannula medicine, and then after that she was really better again. Then she went home. But Aggie, Melanie, Dan, and Grunty, and Poppy came knocking on the door saying, "Can hey, Miffy come out to play?" Um, sorry, Miffy's still a little bit sick, but she can come out maybe next week. So, yeah. And then, Miffy had a tea. This time, she had fish, chips and mushy peas. Been to Blackpool, Miffy. I didn't write that in the book. I, I just said that, man. I didn't write Blackpool. I just wrote fish, chips and mushy peas. And then, and then Miffy had a peas, and then she burped again. And then, she said, sorry for being so rude, it wasn't to me, it was my food. And then, 
Miffy just went upstairs to see the toilet, and then Miffy's mother said, Come on, Miffy, it's dessert time. And Miffy shouted again, What's for dessert? And Mother Buddy said, Dots, leaves, and sugar. But it weren't that, it was chocolate cake. She was chocolate cake and ice cream. Yum, yum. And then Miffy had that. She brushed her teeth, had a bath, put her jars on, and got ready for bed. And then she said to Mother, Mother, can I have a bedtime story? Of course you can, Miffy. And then Miffy fell asleep. So I hope you like that story. And a very special day. But in 11 years, in, in 11 years' time, I've been doing Miffy for 24 years then. And I might possibly have white hair then. How old do you think I am, Miffy? You're cheeky for me. Right, I'll see you all next time.